Now we'll talk about mass and inertia, and in this section we'll actually start getting into Newton's laws of motion. But I'll start by defining a couple of terms. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. And when you hear the word matter, just think material. The amount of matter in an object. Or how much stuff is there. So large objects tend to have more mass. There's more material in a mountain than there is in a little tiny pebble. So a mountain is something that is massive, at least compared to a pebble. Inertia is an object's tendency to maintain its state of motion. In other words, things that are moving tend to keep moving. And things, things that are still tend to remain still. They don't start moving all by themselves. Your refrigerator is sitting there in your kitchen. It doesn't just all of a sudden start moving across the kitchen. If something is still, it tends to remain still. And if something's moving, it has a tendency to keep moving. Things that are moving, um, especially if they're big, if they have a lot of inertia, they're not easy to stop. So inertia is an object's tendency an object's tendency to maintain its state of motion. An object's tendency to maintain its state of motion. And by state of motion, I just mean how it's moving. If it's moving, it tends to keep moving. And if it's not moving, it tends to remain still. Now, in the, the mass and inertia are not exactly the same thing, but they're very closely related. Anything that has mass has inertia, and things that are really big have a lot of inertia. And that means that large objects tend to strongly resist any change in their motion. Or to say it another way, large objects are difficult to accelerate. If something is large, it's hard to get it moving, and it's hard to stop it from moving.